Good morning, guys. Thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button below. Share these with your friends. So it's kind of late today. It's raining. It's holiday week. It's Thanksgiving week. And I'd love to say that I was on here late because I'm just doing like holiday things or whatever. No, I had no hairspray, so my hair's not fixed. It's just, it's been one of those cozy kind of mornings, but I am here now. And we're talking about the tension of being human and spiritual and the, the tension between like hard work and supernatural gifts. Because is this something that anybody else deals with? Like you go to do something and it's like, obviously we don't want to try to control and do things in our own strength. So we're praying and we're doing all this. I mean, if you're trying to do it in your own strength, I say, obviously, maybe that's not obvious. Quit trying to do everything in your own strength. You are full of the Holy Spirit. And so there's this tension. It's really not so much as tension, but we need balance because we need both. And so this weekend I did some study on the book of Daniel and I thought it would be great just to bring like some highlights from the very first chapter about this, this topic. And so, um, uh, basically King Nebuchadnezzar had went and besieged Jerusalem and they've, he's taken, um, captives. And so I just, you gotta have to go back and read it. I got to highlight some things here. Okay. So, uh, one verse four says that they were these boys. Uh, so Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you guys have heard the little children's shirt song into the fiery furnace. Well, we're not at the furnace yet, but they're being chosen. And it says that they were strong, healthy, good-looking young men, well-versed in every branch of learning. So they were educated, gifted with knowledge and good judgment. And what I was thinking about is these boys were promoted because of these characteristics. You know, the fact that they were healthy and strong and educated, you know, they had a certain aspect to that. We're not going to be healthy. I mean, God doesn't make us move our bodies or put good things into it instead of junk. These are things that we control in our human aspect. And so um, they were educated. They had to put forth the work to be educated. But it does say that in verse 17, it said that God gave them, quote, unusual aptitude for understanding every aspect of literature and wisdom. So they put forth this hard work, this human hard work, but then God come along with this supernatural, unusual ability for them to have wisdom and to learn. So if you're going to pray anything over your kids, pray that. I have prayed that for years over my children. Pray that. Pray that over yourself. Okay, um, verse 8 says that Daniel would not bow down to the world's way. He was determined to not. And this was over the food. So he was a determined man. He, you know, that's a human thing, you know, that, that he could sculpt. He was determined. But then in verse nine, it also said that he had favor, divine favor with this, this man, this man that he needed this favor with. So then there's the natural. He was determined. I'm not going to eat that. But yet at the same time, this supernatural aspect that he had this divine favor that the guy was like, oh, okay, well, if you want to just eat the vegetables, fine, we'll see how it works. And um, he was healthier and better nourished. So staying in God's will. So for Daniel, it was about God's will about what he ate for him. And so um, staying in God's will, you're going to be healthier. You're going to be look better nourished. Um, it said that in verse 20 that the king would come to them for wisdom and balanced judgment. They had balanced judgment. It says 10 times better than the others because these boys had the secret to both being human and hard work and things and having this divine supernatural aspect to their life. And it is what we all need. So in verse 27, 28 and 30, it talks about Daniel testified of God's power and goodness, not man's. That's the reason today for the gifts of the spirit and the supernatural operating with our humanness. It's so not that we can act like we're great and we're just these superhumans who can do everything. No, it's so that we can give God the glory. We can, we can put it on 
who it goes on. And he testified of God's power and goodness. So today I want to leave you with pray and believe, but do hard work as well. And when somebody asks you, how do you do all that? How, what, you know, how is this working out for you? Testify of God's goodness, because that is really what people need to know. They need to know that what we're accomplishing is because of God and his goodness and our hard work and our humanness. Neither's bad. We need both. So have a great Monday and I will talk to you tomorrow.